Good morning. Welcome to Yoga and Coffee with Blackbird. Cheers to another beautiful day in LA. <laughs> mm, that's so good, so good. All right, today I would like to do, uh, some people call it the plow. Uh, the roly-poly is something that a lot of my students know it as. And we actually do 10 of them and speak different languages, counting in different languages all at the same time in the room. Uh, that's a fun little teacher tip for you, just, just to make it more fun. Um, there are some concerns with the neck sometimes, so you know your body. So if it's too much pressure up high on your neck, because you are going to fold over. Um, some people's feet don't touch the ground yet, but that's a good goal to have. So the more you can work out your spine and all the muscles that align your spine, um, the better it gets. So you wanna be gentle with yourself. It's also good for your core. It helps your abs because you're controlling the rolling. Controlling the rolling. All right, so here we go. Here's a good demonstration. Again, you know your body, so you decide how much, how much you can handle. I have a nice soft surface. That's another part. Um, even a bed sometimes works, but if it's too soft, sometimes that's not so good either. So something a little bit firm, but a little bit soft for your bones or even just extra padding with your sweatshirt or something. So I'm gonna start in this position holding onto my knees and I'm not gonna look at the camera because I wanna align my spine. So I'm going to look in the direction that aligns my spine all the way up. So I'm gonna curl down, so trying to touch each vertebrae at a time as slowly as possible. I'll do the really, 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 really slow motion version noticing you can count all your vertebrae all at the same time this one takes a lot of abs to be able to do and a lot of hamstring uh, flexibility but if you've got it great go ahead and keep rolling this is extra extra slow motion see i'm already touching the ground because i didn't have to go anywhere but the higher you push your hips the more pressure it is on your shoulders and your neck so you gotta be careful with that and not looking sideways like i'm not and then i'm gonna feel like something's flattening me all the way back down like a rolling pin or a steamroller, I guess. And then if you wanna add some ab work, you can think of scooping under with your muscles. So you're building flat muscles, not stacked up muscles. And just slowly, slowly, slowly try to take your legs all the way down. And exhale with it, it's a little easier. Once you get to the bottom, if you wanna work extra hard, you lift the legs back up like this. If you want to be a little easier on yourself, go ahead and bend them back in and pull it in. So this time we're going to roll it back up and this part's extra hard as well, but it's good. It's good for you. So tucking your chin under. I like to kind of let my legs go so that the weight of my legs helps me propel myself up. So there's a little scale going on. So it lengthens out and then I come up. And then if you want to add a little balance, beautiful. I noticed how crooked I was. Let's do that again. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster now. This is a version that as you're just rolling it out, especially with kids, this is nice. Uh, the stomach muscles, by the time they're about six years old, they're pretty well established to be able to do this. But if you challenge a four-year-old to do this and a three-year-old and a five-year-old type of thing, they're gonna get stronger abs quicker. So I like to see it. So don't be uh, discouraged little ones. If this isn't easy right now because your muscles are still establishing but this is where we could count in different direct different languages and just trying to balance without your feet on the ground you can hold underneath your knees as well that makes it a little easier Woo! and then all the way over and slowly all the way back down and then tuck all the way up and if you could I'm gonna do one other one I call this one Miss America, or Miss Universe, actually. So if you could walk on the ceiling, hold on to your legs. This is a fun little illusion. I'm gonna hold on with this arm and this leg, and then I'm gonna take this one and cross it over top. Et voila, Miss Universe, or Mr. Universe, if that's you. The idea that my spine is lengthening is a big deal. <laughs> Other side. Mm. Hello, beautiful birdies up there in the sky. 
awesome. So if you want to be an extremist, you can like start to challenge yourself. Jackknife. Or you can do it a little bit easier down here. So the idea of rolling, rolling, rolling. There's also the idea of going up to a candlestick, which I'll do, but I know my legs will get out of the shot, but that's okay. So you can also roll here and then straighten them up. There's a whole series we can do on candlestick. Maybe I'll do that next time. Awesome. Have a beautiful day. Thanks for watching.